Hey, what's up? Ben here from blogwithbin.com. And in this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to create a subdomain within your Bluehost account. I'm also gonna show you how to install WordPress on your new subdomain. This can come in handy if you're looking to create landing pages, online stores, or even a new blog. Subdomains are a great way to separate and organize content for specific functions from the rest of your website. Plus, Bluehost makes it super simple to do. Now, really quick, before we get started, if you find this video helpful, I would love it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Doing so helps me keep this channel going and growing, and it allows you to stay up to date with all the videos that come out in the future. Either way, thank you so much for all your support. All right, before we dive in, I'm a visual learner, so let me show you really quick an example of what a subdomain looks like. So a subdomain is defined as a branch or subsection of a domain. It acts as an extension of your domain name to help organize and navigate to different sections of your website. You can also use a subdomain to send visitors to a completely different web address, like an online store. For example, my domain is www.blogwithbin.com. However, let's say I wanted to create an online store associated with Blog with Ben. In that case, I could create the subdomain shop.blogwithbin.com. The word shop placed before the main domain is what makes this a subdomain. Plus, the beautiful thing about subdomains is that they're an extension of your main domain that are like a completely different website. And as you'll see in a few moments, you can install WordPress on a subdomain and use a completely different theme if you'd like. So with that being said, let's create a subdomain in Bluehost. Now, to accomplish this, you'll obviously need a Bluehost web hosting account. And if you don't, no worries, just visit my Bluehost affiliate link in the show notes below this video titled blogwithbin.com forward slash subdomain. And you can get started with Bluehost for as little as $2.95 per month. I should also point out that in this video, I'm using the Bluehost starter plan, which is the $2.95 plan. So regardless of what hosting package you choose, you'll be able to create multiple subdomains within your account. So to get started, you'll obviously need to log into Bluehost and access your Bluehost customer portal, which is where we're at right now. And then on the left-hand side of the screen, click on domains. And then select subdomains. Now, I've obviously added some subdomains to my account, but if you're just starting out, your screen will probably look a little different. Nevertheless, this is where you'll create and manage your subdomains. Also, if you scroll down to the bottom of the screen, you'll see that Bluehost has some FAQs about subdomains that are pretty helpful if you want some more info. However, I'm gonna walk you through the entire process right now. So, to add a subdomain, in the upper right-hand side of the screen, click the Add Subdomain button, Then from here, you'll create the subdomain. And as we briefly covered in the beginning of the video, a subdomain is basically an extension of an other domain that can be broken down into two parts. The subdomain comes first, followed by the domain it's associated with. So in the first field, type what you want your subdomain to be. And for this example, I'm acting as if my subdomain is going to be my online shop. So I'm going to type the word shop in this field. Then in the second field to the right, select the domain you want it to be associated with from that drop-down menu. Then for the document root folder, type the same word as your subdomain. This is how I organize my subdomain home folders in the back end, and it makes it easier to stay organized. So I'll type the word shop here, and then click the add subdomain button. And in a few quick seconds, your subdomain is ready and is now located in your subdomain management page within your Bluehost account. And as you can see, it's listed here along with some key elements of the subdomain. All right, moving on. Next, I wanna show you how to officially add this new subdomain to your account and install WordPress to it. So on the left-hand side of the screen, click My Sites. And this will bring you to your site management page. This is where Bluehost stores all of your WordPress installs and is where you can easily access, manage, and create WordPress sites within your Bluehost account. So to add a brand new site, you're essentially adding either a domain or subdomain to this list and installing WordPress to it. So where it says add site, click that little caret icon. 
and then select Create New Site. Then from here, it's essentially the same onboarding steps as when you initially signed up with Bluehost. And for this example, I'm installing a fresh WordPress instance without using the Bluehost page builder, but feel free to select whichever one you want and click the Get Started button. Next, you'll be asked to create your site title and tagline, so go ahead and fill out those two fields. And then click the Next button. Then it's time to select the domain or subdomain that will be installing WordPress 2. So under where it says Domain, open that drop down menu and find the subdomain that we just created. There it is. Then I recommend leaving the directory blank and feel free to keep or remove these plugins here. And then click the Next button. and then give it a few seconds to process. Then you'll be asked to go through the Bluehost onboarding steps again. I'm skipping them for now, but feel free to go through this if you'd like. And congrats, you've successfully installed WordPress to your new subdomain. Now, Bluehost gives you all of your login credentials here, so be sure to save these in a safe and secure location. And then go ahead and log into WordPress by clicking this link here. And it may take a few seconds to load, so just sit tight really quick. And boom, you literally have a brand new site. Again, subdomains are a great way to separate and organize content for a specific function from the rest of your website, like a landing page, online store, or even a blog. And if we visit the site, you can see that you literally have a brand new site that you'll obviously need to build. But again, subdomains are a great addition to anyone who has an online presence and digital platform. Then finally, I wanna show you how you'll log in to your new subdomain WordPress site. So back at your Bluehost customer portal, within the My Sites section, you'll now see that your new subdomain site has been added to the list. Then to access WordPress, from here you'll click the Manage Site button. And then within the upper right hand side of the screen, click the Login to WordPress button. And you'll be taken to the back end of your new site and can begin building your brand new digital platform on your subdomain. So that's going to do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. Also, now that you've started your blog, check out these two videos on email marketing and blog monetization. They'll help you grow your audience and earn a passive income with your blog. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.